Hey guys, Alex here, and I'm going to show you guys a little uh, behind the scenes um, look at the making of my Phantasm 1 RC uh, tribute video. And it's a tribute that pays homage to the 1979 horror classic called Phantasm, directed by Don Coscarelli. You like that? Oh, I did it! Yeah. <laughs> this is so nice! Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, if you want to take pictures you can, I'm gonna... I think we'll, we'll move to locations after this. Mm -hmm. If you want to take selfies or whatnot. Uh, See my hand. Are you trying to move those? Yeah, I'm gonna make them like they're doing it. Can you see it? Yes. My hand? No. Look at the cat go <laughs> <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. Hey, you hit me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Perfect.
Let me get a shot at it. Nah, or without. Ready? Hey, win again. Okay. Right, come. And zoom. Once I'd watch, so. And go really fast that way. Go. Okay. Ready and action. Okay. Let's do that again. That was bad. Follow this when it comes off the thing, okay? Ready? Cool. You ready? So uh, during uh, during one of the nights of filming, you know, this car did take some uh, hits. Um, one was during the ramp scene. We we're trying to get the uh, the white nomad to to flip, and during that scene, the uh, the Cuda accidentally went up the ramp with the with the nomad, and then they collided, and this whole body flew off. And then there was a there was another a nasty hit. Um, I got it all on tape. So you guys can see it, but this is what happened. Let me show you. Now, as you guys know, the original <laughs> here's that hawk. It was the original uh, body is the Jesse James Cuda body, and it was orange. So when this black paint comes chipped off, then you can see some of the original uh, paint underneath it. So here, here's probably the best example. You can see it by the flares here. Hold on. See that? See the flares? These flares were manufactured by Billy the Work. So the, the Jesse James Cutter does not have these, but you can see some of the orange right there. I'm going to try to paint that in. Also on the engine cowl right here, you can see, you can see it got a little chipped right there. That's the orange. And as for this mark, this came from the bumper of the, uh, or the fender of the, the Nomad when they collided. See that? That's not going to come off. I'm not going to put my Sharpie to that. But yeah, we're going to use my Sharpie to, uh, to fix these uh, little marks. I still see it. I love that smell though. Of a Sharpie. Now Billy told me to try to dab into the the flare crack with a fresh Sharpie. Maybe I should have started there. But I'm going to try my best and try to avoid hitting the paint. But that's going to be impossible because I don't think it's going to dab in there. But I'm going to try my best. And I'm, I'm just going to get it uh, sent to, uh, to him and have him repair this in the future, like restore it. Oh yeah, something else that happened, which I already uh, fixed and you guys saw it. Uh, this rear magnet right here, that one broke off went during the collision and it just stuck to the other magnet. So it's actually in the process of, of still uh, curing from the crazy glue that I put on. So here is this, you can see it better now. I don't think I did that good of a job, but hey, maybe you won't see it when I finish the rest of this video. And the engine cowl here, right here, it was orange. It's, you can still kind of see the Sharpie now, but whatever. Uh, here's the big white mark that I wanted to fix, but there's no way to do that. I, I can try rubbing it off, but it won't come off. Um, also, I f there was some stuff over here on the bottom. Did the undercarriage. Some of that came off. I just went to this, uh, to the tall man's. <laughs> yeah, I just went to the, uh, the guy who's doing the voice for tall man for my RC video. And it's raining here. Like, I just had to run out. It's cold rain. It's very uncomfortable. I'll just check in the audio making sure it's okay before I leave because I don't want to drive all the way back out here again. 
to get him to uh, record. Um, I also got the voice for the opening sequence where the the girl and the guy are are having a good time in the cemetery, you know? I'm gonna meet Scoobs in about an hour. We're gonna film the last uh, few clips and they all involve uh, nighttime uh, garage scenes using his uh, his hand-built uh, scaled garage. Very, very cool work, I gotta say. And anyways, at the nick of time, these arrived. These are our miniature, well, you know, scaled uh, jack stands. You know how like, when cars are being worked on, they use these to prop them up. So I'm gonna recreate the scene where, you know, where the, the boy is working under his car, and then something like knocks the jack stand over, and then the, the cooter just falls on top of the, uh, of the boy. So that's why I got these. Pretty cool looking, I think. And I actually ordered this twice. The first time I ordered from another seller, he just now sent it. Like, he just now mailed it off, like, a few days ago. And there's no way it's gonna make it here in 30 minutes on a Friday night <laughs> when the mail's already been delivered. So I got that in time. So for tonight's scenes, I'm gonna use... Well, I'm gonna need the tall man. This is a Nika figure. He's about... He's pretty tall. Hence, a uh, tall man. Gonna use him. Um... I'm gonna try to incorporate this uh, this mirror here for a um, I don't know a phantasm inspired shot. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. It's kind of it's kind of big. It doesn't look very scaled, but whatever. And uh, hopefully this uh, magnet is done. Uh, you know, getting cured because I, I, I crazy glued this like on Tuesday or Monday. So hopefully it's nice and good because I'm gonna need this CUDA for this garage scene. I need it nice and stable. And I'm already charging the um, the battery here. It's gonna be the last uh, the last night of filming for Phantasm 1 RC video. I'm very excited. And yeah, it's been a really cool uh, project. I hope you guys like the, the finished product. Like I know it's gonna look simplistic, but actually a lot went on behind behind scenes on the video just to make it happen. All right, whenever you're ready. This is a sweet angle. All right, whenever you're ready. We do. Okay. Oh, is that? <laughs> All right, and action. Oh god damn. Okay, when you're ready, just start pulling periodically until it falls. And then stay, stay like that. Castle is the other show that I like. They haven't been playing in many episodes of that lately either. I heard that was awesome. Castle? Yeah. Yeah, it's, I, it's up there. Oh, we'll try. I'll try like this first. Yeah. Well, we'll try this. Yeah, I would do. We'll try that first. Yeah. That's better. And then I can slide this guy over a little bit more. Oh, I don't want to block my camera. Of course, the width, try not to hit him. Oh, let me get this. I got it right now. Pretty good for it. There you go. Did you take it? No, it fell over. I know what you want, but it's not going to be that easy. Yeah, I know. Can we do a few more takes if you can? Because 
probably with my GoPro, I, I don't have a preview screen on mine. Okay. Hey guys, that is a wrap. We just got done finishing all the, the nighttime garage scenes. Some of them were pretty easy. Some of them we had to do a lot of takes. Uh, but I'm excited. Now I get to upload all the footage to my computer. I can start editing the video. And uh, then I can start editing all the, the sound and stuff. All right guys, so the car's still in pretty much, uh, pretty a decent shape. I do want to send this back to uh, uh, Billy to our uh, restore it to its normal uh, awesome paint job and uh, it performed very well in this video, extremely well. Unlike the uh, the CUDA in the movie Phantasm 1, I heard there are all kinds of issues with the car, even just getting it started. Um, the only issue that I had with this car, um, it's not even an issue really, but uh, for some reason the, uh, the 9 volt battery, it just kept uh, I don't know, I, I'm not sure what the deal was, but it kept uh, destroying the 9-volt batteries. If the lights were on for like f maybe 10, 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so, uh, the batteries would just die. So I would have to uh, to, to switch out the 9-volt. The I think, I, I mean, I switched the 9-volt battery out maybe, maybe three times throughout filming. But that's not really an issue because I had plenty of 9-volts. Uh, like, I had some in my... My bag here. Uh, see, here's another one. I, I had them just in case because for the nighttime shots, I needed the lights to be pristine, you know, and you know to look like they were fully charged. So I was just switching that out. But yeah, aside from that, this thing was this thing was awesome. Definitely um, my top favorite RC made by the great Billy C. Leworth. Very awesome. Look at that. And yeah, in case you're wondering, yeah, we use a, a Jesse James. Uh, Cuda. Let me show you what they originally looked like. This is what it originally looks like. So it's got a vinyl top, so he had to actually like I don't know how he did it, but he smoothened out the vinyl top that so looked and like flat. You know, like this, like a regular hard top. Um he gave it an immaculate paint job. He put some hood pins. See on the front, there's no hood pins on the Jesse James Cuda, but on this there are hood pins. It looks awesome. Um, there's a license plate on the back and front. Uh, yeah, immaculate paint job. And we even put the, uh, the trademark uh, pinstripe on the side. Now, it's weird, like everyone has different theories as to what color the pinstripe was. I heard somewhere it was gold. Somebody just had it pure white, some had it silver, some had a, a mixture of silver and blue. It's just really hard to tell, but for, for film purposes, we got it to look just like the movie, in my opinion. As for it being accurate up close, I don't know, but it looks pretty damn good. Oh, another big thing that Billy did with this body, he added the uh, the awesome uh, flares here. See that? Because this CUDA in part one had giant flares. In part two, um, it's a different CUDA, but there's no flares on it. See, this is the Jesse James CUDA. There's no flares on him but he did a really cool job of putting the flares on. See that? Um, I guess the only thing that we didn't do, which they did in the movie, um, we didn't, you know, cut a giant square or rectangle in the hood. <laughs> but that's what they did in the movie. That, that scene where um, his brother, you know, the boy's brother gets out and starts shooting at the, uh, at the hearse. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why they did that. They cut a giant square here. But anyways, yeah, I just want to talk about the car. It, it did survive very well in our, in this video here. Oh yeah, he also edited these too. These uh, floodlights. 